Hello everyone, we're back to another episode, uh, to an epi another episode on, a uh, Game of V Coronado channel, and today we'll be playing Cook, Serve, Delicious. If you watch my other earlier videos, which you might have, I don't know if you have, but if you have, then you might have, uh, seen that I've made actually quite a few videos on this, on this series, but the thing, the problem was, I lost a few videos on the series, and... I don't want to start off from a random, uh, from just a random point. So I'm going to start a new episode, a new series of it, basically, on a new game. So there's the old map. I only got to one star. Didn't do that good. That's my map I know I'm always on. Uh, that's the map I was actually just finished playing. I was just doing some playing around with it, and I just got to day 97, and so I'm getting close to a five-star restaurant. But today we'll be starting with a four-star restaurant. Okay, so let's read the introduction. Welcome to Sherisota Tower. This historical building was once home to the luxurious cook serve delicious restaurant, but has since been in disrepair along with the rest of the tower. However, the recent economy boom has filled the tower to, to capacity, and the owners of the tower would like to reopen the cook serve delicious restaurant and put you at the helm. You might as you might need to take this zero star you might need you need to take the zero star cafe not you don't might you want to and turn into a five star world class restaurant so first we'll need to learn the basics very quickly and i okay um i'm not really going to go through all the basics because i i've already played this game multiple times so if you want to see the basics go on to my other videos or you'll just see how it works here and i don't uh yeah i don't uh, skip this because I, I I've already known this as I said again. Uh, if you want to see the the uh, how, the basics, uh, please watch my other videos, my other series on it, or just buy the game yourself. I think it's like ten dollars, uh, whatever that is, in any other uh, currency amount, or so. Uh, it's ten bucks U.S. dollars, and uh, I think it's very worth it. It's a good it's a good game to. Um, to, to chill down, chill, chillax with, as uh, the young the youngster just saying today. Uh, so we have a cook serve delicious patch notes in our um, mail box, I guess. This is emails, and we yeah, they added some new uh, expansions to uh, Battle Kitchen. Other people, uh, you play against other people and co-op, which I don't even know how that works, but uh, I'll probably not do that. I don't know if. There's nobody I know who has this game, so uh, maybe I'll try to attract some of my friends to get to play. So, welcome to the client uh, using the service, yes. And good luck on your opening day, Chef Risotto. I just wanted to congratulate you on your opening day. He sounds a little Russian, this not much. I've always wanted to feel, I've always feel so overwhelming, isn't it? I know you have the chops to run a successful business, and I hope our paths will crossing sometime in the future. Drop by the Iron Chef studio, and it's turned, he's turned to a, a British kind of Australian, Brit, Britain, Brit, I don't even know, a Brit slash Australian there, and I can get you some audience tickets. Good luck. Chef Risotto, 11 star Iron Chef. So, um, now I, now the first thing to do is to start buying foods. So our foods, um, we want foods that are nice, uh, that are eat, not necessarily easy to do, but they are, uh, they're, they will make the customers happy. Uh, I always like doing pretzels. You, uh, they may, you don't get tips for them, uh, and they wear out after you have a two-star restaurant, but the thing is, I don't, I just, um, I love preparing these. Uh, as you can see, we have the good parts about the food and the bad parts. So it's good for catering. It's a, it's a good simple food, and it's a good afternoon delight. But it's a munchie, so nobody will order during rush hours. It's menu rot, so after a, after a couple days, people won't want to eat it. It's unappreciated, so nobody will tip it. Uh, it's peasant food, so two star or higher, nobody will buy it. It's fatty McFats, um, because uh, that's probably relating something, uh, nice relation to uh, McDonald's there. Uh, it's a fat food and morning aroma. People don't hate to smell pretzels in the morning, which I have no clue what kind of people we are uh, talking to because I love the smell of soft pretzels in the morning, especially with cinnamon, which you can get for them. So definitely, the first thing I'm going to buy is a deep fryer station because I like, I'm going to have those. Because uh, I like to have, like, chips or is actually french fries or if you're from Australia or anywhere else. You might call it chips. I don't even know. 
Uh, I don't, I'm gonna cut with the stereotypes. And so let's go pretzel. Uh, I'm gonna purchase the pretzel because I just like I said, I, I like pretzels. Um, French fries. I love uh, French fries. They're delicious. Uh, they may be a little fattening, but mm, after a while, it's they. It's fine. It doesn't really matter unless you have too many, way too many of them. Soda is always really easy, and it's it's always really easy. It's a good to go food, and it's um, it doesn't. It's pretty good. It's a staple, so it won't get menu rot. And I'm probably gonna have one more item on my list. I'm definitely gonna have fish because this is also very easy. And I'm also and I'm probably gonna either have I'm gonna have salad because salads are beautiful. So there we go. Uh, now we have everything that we're gonna need now. So as you can see, my daily buzz this is because I don't have any things on my menu, so nothing's gonna be lowering or uh, lowering, um, yeah, lowering or raising my buzz. Uh, besides, uh, new day, <laughs> a new a new day, a new restaurant, which is giving me lots of buzz. So now that I'm now that that's over, I'm gonna. I go on to my active menu. This is where you place everything you want. The higher number value it's on, I believe, the higher number value it's on, the less, um, uh, the hot, the most, the more people will buy it. So I'm gonna put on for highest. I'm gonna put on salads. I like making salads. We'll put on some. For two, we'll put on pretzels. Three, we'll put on uh, French fries. And four, we will put down some soda. We'll leave the fish for tomorrow, I guess. And we're only gonna do two days. Okay. S s we're gonna only do two days today, so uh, let's. Well, that sounds weird, but yeah, let's start a new day. Uh, so um, now we have to work from nine to ten, which is uh, I'd say pretty long, uh, pretty long hours. So there we go. Let's start up. We have cheesy peppers to start out with. Some cheese and some onions and peppers. You might you might hear me blab blabbing to myself or whatever you want to call it. Uh, just talking randomly to myself because it, you have to think about this. It, you have to really think. So I had to um, try to balance uh, talking with you and uh, with the audience, and also talking um, to uh, talking to myself, trying to get the the uh, ingredients put in correctly. So yeah, um, just a couple hours ago, I just I did a like three mile run. So if you if you think I'm a little tired, then uh, that's exactly why. I had a three hour run, a three hour run, a three mile run, and then, um, and then, uh, did some football throwing around, doing some, uh, some running and, uh, routes, uh, quarterbacking, whatever, and it, it made me, uh, really tired, so, if I'm a little, uh, if I'm making no sense of myself, I, it's because I'm tired. Okay, so we have a nice salad, dry greens. Um, I like the fact that all these salads that we have are uh, only spinach. Uh, I like because normally you'll find uh, normally you'll have uh, salads with start with lettuce, but in this game, apparently they only have spinach as a um, as the. Oh darn it! I accidentally served him uh, what he didn't want. Uh, uh, ice. Oh god, this is uh, crazy. Red cheese, kids like that, uh, and uh, greens, carrots, and uh, large co. No. Uh, god darn it! Darn it! Uh, it terrible. Uh, trash, 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 trash. Sanitize. Uh, three. Uh, medium cola with ice, and then two. Uh, ranch, cheese, bacon, onions. Uh, small water ice. Uh, yeah, that's uh, whew, finally. That was um, when you first start out. Rush hours are absolutely crazy, and um, because nobody has the patience to wait, because you don't have anything making them wait. You don't have any table snacks like bread sticks, so everyone will get mad. At, will get mad if you even if you even take more than like. A couple minutes to us uh, to actually start making their order, which I find very annoying, because they're at a they're at a, a zero star restaurant. What do they think? Do you think we can dish out food? Well, maybe we can, but that might be something against us. But we can't dish out foods in two minutes and expect you to just 
can't dish that out and expect you, because we are expecting you to wait a little bit, but no, you're just gonna say, oh look, I didn't, I just, I just ordered my food, and I didn't get my food in the, pa in the past two minutes. I ordered a salad, and I didn't get my food in two minutes. Um, and now I'm gonna mad, I'm gonna be mad and leave. So, that's the terrible thing. The other thing I realized about this game is, um, apparently none of my customers actually have the dignity to flush the toilet. So I, while I'm in the middle of, uh, while I'm in the middle of making all the food for everyone, I have to get out of my way and go to the, and go and flush the toilet because people are not considerate who walk into my restaurant at this point. So yeah, that's, uh, th those are my, uh, um, criticisms about the game, but besides that, this game is amazing. It's a nice game to, um, to lie back on. It's a game you don't, it's a game you play when you just want to relax, and that's, that's what I'm doing right now. It's a game when, uh, it's a game you play when you don't want, when you don't really feel, when you don't really feel like you want to play a very intense game. This game can be very intense at moments, but for most, for the most part, it's a game where you can really lie back and, uh, and, uh, do talking while, um, and do talking while, yeah, uh, pardon my, uh, English, <laughs> because I am tired, and I don't know how to speak English, apparently, so, there you go, um, so you might, you, you might know that, um, I am at a loss for words at points, which, um, you'll, you'll find is, uh, common at points, um, and if you hadn't noticed by now, which I, you might have if you saw this on my channel that I released uh, my vending machine 3.0 version 3.0 and um, I will probably never release another vending machine uh, well, at least another type of vending machine uh, so you might as well check it out because you probably won't see anything new at any time in the any time or just in general anytime soon uh, Definitely not any, de definitely, de definitely not anytime soon, but uh, uh, m maybe in the future, maybe, probably not though. So so far I've been doing great uh, with my combos, and uh, everything's been working nicely. I think I have a perfect day so far. I believe. I, maybe I made one mistake, but I have been doing pretty good. As you can see, I'm pretty experienced with the game, so. Uh, definitely, um, it definitely won't be hard for people who have, it won't be as hard for me compared to the people who have only played, who have never played the game before and are starting this. I've played this game, as you can see, of my game there, I've, uh, as my, I have my first save game. I ha I've almost played a hundred days of this, so I'm really into this and I know how to, I have the basic gist of how to do things. And there we go. Days finished. I had two average orders, sadly. And 47 perfect. So I think that's good. We had 49 customers served. Uh, 14 chores completed. Uh, Zero dollars of tips because I don't have a tip jar. Crumbs made. I was a little bit fast at making, a little too fast at making things. So I got crumbs. Doesn't really penalize you, but yeah. Uh, 34 highest combo. I got 200, almost 300 bucks today. Almost 24% positive buzz for tomorrow because of all the perfect orders. I flushed eight toilets because eight inconsiderate, inconsiderate people uh, had to go to the toilet. I caught a rat. I washed 12 dishes, threw 15 bags of garbage away, which surprises me, and zero just suspense. There were no robbers, and there are no robbers uh, for the first, like, 10 days, I think until there starts to be robbers. So, this is my checklist for being a one-star restaurant. I'm currently a zero-star restaurant, so first we had to do 20 days of service, then 12 times perfect combo on three separate days, buy six standard foods and drinks, uh, foods or drinks, uh, I only bought five, make over 100 in tips, I have, don't even have a tip jar, so I have zero, and I had to pass a safety inspection, yep. Serve four foods in one day. I just did that and have at least 10% positive buzz from customers. Yes. Safety inspection is going to come later. This is going to probably take a few episodes. Um, so, yeah. It's going to be a little bit. Beer upgrade now available. That's good. I'll probably upgrade it now. Upgrades, they just make your... They add more ingredients sometimes or just make your food um, better and make it more expensive. So, new items available. Yep. Tip jar. I'm going to need that. And this is some sort of weird um, spam mail. 
So yeah, that's the thing about uh, the. It's the weird thing about the tip jar is that it costs fifty bucks for a tip jar. It, yeah, it's just a jar. It could be anything, and it just a jar. I see. Uh, so I don't even own beer. Wow, I really need to own beer. So I'm gonna buy some beer because I uh, want to upgrade it because upgrading beer is good because it costs a good bit of money, and. Uh, at that point, I'm going to upgrade my food, and there we are. And now, I'm going probably, we're going to do one more day, and then we're going to end for today. So I'm probably going to keep, I'm going to put beers number one, I'm going to have a french fries number two, I'm going to put in a fish today, which will make people sad in the morning, because I, I agree, why would you want to smell fish in the morning? And I'm probably going to keep on the pretzels, because pretzels are nice and simple. And getting a 49% buzz, so that's good. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty good for today. And then today we'll end the after today we'll end the video, and everything will be fine. And, and well, everything will be fine until tomorrow when I upload another video. I'm hoping to um, hoping to upload at least a video, uh, hopefully a video every day, but probably not. Uh, now that winter break is over, I don't know if I'll be able to upload a video every day, but I'll try as hard as possible. Um, um. Prob uh, hopefully ev uh, every other day. I'm gunning for every day, but probably won't be able to do that all the time. So I'm gonna probably just go with uh, one every two days, unless I can, unless I can get another video in. But the thing with these cooks are delicious, which I always love, is that these videos are really easy to make. So it's um so I can get a lot of these out, which I think you'd like. Uh, so maybe tomorrow I might have one or two more of these videos. I don't want to have too many because it'll really, um, it won't make it good. Uh, because if you're just watching the same thing over and over, I don't think it'd be good. So, uh, if you've also seen on my channel, I just, uh, I think like, not even, like, a couple hours ago, I posted my, um, I posted first episode of my Let's Play, uh, Let's Play of Prison Architect, which I will be continuing on soon, uh, I had some prob I had some difficulties. I was going to release that last week, uh, but the problem was uh, something weird happened with it, and uh, the, uh, the video wouldn't upload, and then it wouldn't at any time, and then, but it, uh, it stayed as it said it was uploaded, even though it wasn't. So then I had to, I basically had to delete it, and then while, before I deleted it, before I realized I had to delete it, I uploaded another version. Uh, and it said, oh, you can't have a duplicate video, and basically, I, after that, I, uh, completely forgot about it, and, uh, then, re then, re then, I uh, wanted to at least release two videos before the end of, s uh, s summer break, uh, winter break, and then I'd be done. Um, I love breaks, because they allow me to have much more time to make more videos, because I don't have to worry about going to school, uh, that that would take the, the school time that would take up my possible time uh, that I could be recording video, recording and releasing videos. So yeah, like I like I said earlier, expect uh, expect uh, every other day, but uh, on special occasions, and by special occasions I mean some this uh, every once. Eh, I I'm not gonna say anything. Just. It, the videos are usually going to come out uh, every other day or every day. I cannot tell you exactly when days are going to be double uh, every day or just every other day. And some days it might be uh, a two-day gap. It really depends. Uh, it really depends. Uh, and if I do have a two-day gap and you don't like that, I'm sorry. But uh, I, I had to do what I had to do. And I'm sorry if you have if you are awaiting these videos but you're not getting to uh, see them in time because I'm I can't I don't have time to to record and upload these but uh yeah um so be aware of my my new videos so uh we're continuing on with the day and we have somehow loads of trash I just just a load of piles of trash just appeared and oh and we here have some fries which are pretty easy to cook especially when they don't have salt because people sometimes won't ask for salt like these people who I think are uh, good because I don't want to take the extra time to add salt but if they ask for it I'll gladly give it to them 
Uh, so it's almost six o'clock, meaning it's it's half it's half past five. What well, was and um, meaning that we have another rush hour coming up in about five minutes. And now, now it's it, the rush hour is upon us. And, and uh, there we go. Now we're just gonna get swamped with endless amounts of people wanting to uh, eat food. So there we go. Let's pour a beer. Um, pour another beer and get a fish to cook. Uh, the best way to cook the fish is to just press all the buttons at once and then hit S to cook it. But that's just my way of cooking them. Also, I want to be. I always, I'm always very careful at the end of the day with the beer, so I might, I might just stop a little early and just go t and tap it a few times. So that might now, like for example, this where I stop there and I'll tap it a few times just to make sure I don't. Uh, fail like on my last or last few orders. So it looks like I have lots. The order spree is gonna end in uh, uh, about now. There we go. The order spree is over, and I can now go back to my normal cooking. So there we go. We have two fish and some guys coming up. I want a beer. It's a good time for beer. Not like the person who bought a beer at at like. 10 in the morning. For them, I say, what are you doing with your life? Um, um, so there we go. Uh, so, nice sweet twist. That sounds delicious. I've never actually had a soft pretzel with cinnamon. I've had a soft pretzel uh, with butter, I had it with salt, salt and butter, but I've never had it with cinnamon. So I think that'd be delicious to try. Um, uh, good, good, good order. You're definitely gonna like that, at least I think. Unless you're allergic to cinnamon, which I doubt you'd be ordering it. So there we go, another stupid toilet order, and then a cinnamon pretzel. There we go. You are happy, and you walk away. Uh, now we're just sitting here. Oh look, another cinnamon pretzel. Apparently, everyone here who is coming in late wants a nice cinnamon pretzel for a dessert, which I really don't blame them for. And this guy's coming in here. He wants a beer, and he breaks the the train of people with um, with cinnamon pretzels. And look, this guy walked in at the last second to he, he really he really wanted fish, so he popped in at the last second to he literally popped in like the last couple seconds of store of uh, of of the opening time to um, to just get his fish. He really wanted the fish. So oh, we uh, as you can see the flower well the balloons and confetti that was right around here that fell and or is now gone signals that we had a perfect day so that's great uh, so now of course we still have 17 more days of service still another day to get a 12 perfect time times 12 perfect combo we've only got actually for one day of tips we got twenty two dollars in tips which I think is pretty good we're, all, we're almost a quarter of the way there past safety inspection will be good and I already did those two so fried chicken upgrade is now available that's great you just want to share the wealth. Wow. So this guy just won the lottery the other day and thought his favorite restaurant should get a slice of the pie. Enjoy and thanks for all the delicious. Anonymous. Thank you. Uh, that is very kind of you. More about email attachments. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's things they give you that connect to your email. A perfect day. Chef Risotto. I can't believe you have managed to serve every single order perfectly yesterday with no missed choice to boot. You are truly iron cook material. Iron chef. Oh, God. It's, yeah, iron chef. Oh. I, I've watched that show a lot. And uh, their spoof on it's iron cook. Great. Iron cook material. Please accept this gift and continue cooking amazingly. Chef Risotto. You have received a $250 bonus. Great. And many rots occurring, yes. Uh, my fish is now rot. Where where have you been all my life? The, the food is so good, I want to marry whoever runs this place. No. <laughs> Let's say that right now. Uh, so you can get free food for life. Lol. JK, I'm married, but man, I want, just want to eat there forever. Well done. Thank you. That is great. Okay, so that will be the end of the video today. Uh, tomorrow... Tomorrow probably we'll do another episode, uh, another episode of this, uh, maybe this, um, we might have an episode of this or Prison Architect tomorrow, or both, if I feel like it. So that'll be that, and it'll probably, the episodes are probably going to be about two days each, 
two or day, three day, in game days uh, each episode. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been Gaming with V Coronado. If you like the video, remember to uh, comment, uh, like, and subscribe because I'm not good at these outros. <laughs> remember to like, comment, and subscribe, uh, and become a, a subscriber today. Yep, you subscribe twice. <laughs> this has been Gaming with V Coronado. See you later.